we've been following this Ricada case for a little minute now, huh? Well, how, how do you think things are? What's your assessment of where the case stands right now? Things are not going great for Nick is my assessment. The labs came back. We know that because they were disclosed to the defendant, although we don't know what they were. But the labs came back, and we can presume that the labs came back confirming some kind of drugs, because otherwise it would probably be a really easy motion to dismiss. Like, well, you know, they're not drugs, so we all go home. So we can, we have pretty solid inf inferential evidence that the labs came back positive for cocaine, perhaps, and some additional drugs, which might lead to new exciting charges down the line. And on the, uh, should we get rid of this, should we suppress the search, things could be going better. I, I don't have a lot of high hopes for it. I thought the state's response was about right, and things are not heading in a positive direction. How do you think they're going? My assessment of the case is, is essentially mirroring yours. Um, yo, what's up, Saqib? But um, the only thing I would say is, is that I think everybody has to understand this is an all or nothing for Nick when it comes to yeah, pretty much. Um, the search warrant because there was coke in his house. <laughs> there was coke in his house. So if the search warrant's bad, the coke and all other bad stuff goes away. The search warrant is good. Then this is really like what three, four witness case, right? They just the the cops two. the the yeah you, the, you, the you need you need, a, you need you need a cop with the body cam, so that's one, and you need the lab tech. That's two. Anything yeah, else is bonus. And then you know the guns, you get the guns for free and the child neglect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you got the coke. Yeah. yeah. And which also incidentally goes to this idea about Aaron's Aaron Imholt's potential issues down down the road for himself. Aaron is a nice to have if you're the state for Nick's case, but not necessary. Because all you really need is the cop say, Yes, I found the drugs, and you need the lab to say yes, they are drugs. Anyone else is bonus. So Aaron Imholt's problems relating to his own felony charges if i'm the state ultimately I'm like i don't even need to put him on the stand so it's a non-issue it's fine but, but let's keep it real the reason why aaron they, they reported all this stuff to aaron let's just you know just be clear nick believes that that was going to help his case against the state i, th I think in in the grand scheme of things because aaron is a witness against nick and i think if they go to trial just in case they might want to bring Aaron on to have a little background, you know. Hey, you yeah. were in the house, you were using coke, then let's destroy his I, credibility so you can't call him. So yeah. I think that's I that's mean, a, if, I, if, if I'm the state, state, if I'm the state, I'd love to have a witness that'd be like, Yes, I saw him use drugs in the house, and yes, I saw him personally, you know, with his own hands, put the drugs in the safe and so forth. That would be that's great. That's a nice to have. So I if I could put someone like Aaron or April on the stand, that's nice. But you know, <laughs> not not required. Oh yeah, this is funny. Anna Kasparian from the YouTube from um. The yeah, YouTube I saw that. I saw that yeah. clip. Yeah. Anna apparently uh -huh. is following this story. She mentioned <laughs> Sean potentially criminal by name. Neither you nor I, though, so we're not getting any love. Uh, it's it's uh, it's well well yeah yeah so uh, you know it, it's it's okay it's okay I, we're not as compelling as those guys. So that's all right. So we know this for so for Nick, this is an all or nothing. So if Nick loses this. He's yeah, it's over. At, he's pleading. He's pleading, people. And I know people, yeah. are, oh my God, he's pleading, he's pleading, he's pleading. Now, also, too, um, Barnes was making a big deal about the kids, about the, the kid who had cocaine, tested positive uh -huh. cocaine. We've heard no follow ups on that, right? If, if that was a, no. if that, if that test was a negative test, I would have been, Nick would have been screaming, told you it was a false positive. Ain't nobody saying yeah, I mean that 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 case at the moment, of course, is a separate case. At the yeah. moment, that's a child custody issue, so that's under its own set of rules and on, on their own set of problems. And we don't really know much about that case. Uh, we do know from the original report that there was a test of positive on the hair, but we there was no uh, there's nothing in that report that said there was a confirmation test done. Yes, and right. so and also didn't provide any details about how that was confirmed. Correct. So it's possible that it didn't get confirmed or it's possible that somehow else it's been satisfied. So whether or not the kid had drugs in his hair is a independent issue from whether or not there are drugs in the house. As of right now, the only test yeah. I have is that test they gave that said the kid had enough, had a moderate level of cocaine in their system that was... Well, they, they ran out of numbers, Nate. It's yeah. like we, we, stopped <laughs> test, we stopped testing at 5,000. That was the we we went past our limit. Yeah, so 